Hi, welcome back to How to App on iOS. My name is Jade and this is the Daily Digest. Today, we're going to be opening up Logic Pro once again and we're going to be delving into the acoustic drum kits versus the electronic drum kits when it comes to summing stacks and folder stacks, how they're overlooked in favor of the electronic drum kits. Let me show you what I mean. Let's open a new project, open a new MIDI track, let's open our browser and select our instrument patches. Now, if I choose drums from here and grab an electronic drum kit, like this one, yeah? And if we drag this across into this empty MIDI track, you'll see it creates a summing uh, stack here, which I can open up like that. And you can see all the instruments like MIDI routing have been separated for us. So if I open up our mixer and I open up our pads here, you can see as I play, all of these kit pieces have been separated into individual channels. Great stuff, really like that. But the problem is, if you wanna use an acoustic kit, it doesn't work the same. Let me show you. If I select acoustic kits from here and grab something like the SoCal kit and drag it across, it doesn't put it into folders or a summing stack. Let's try like the Liverpool drum kit. Again, all right, so let's go back to electronic kits here and grab something random, drag this in, and look, it's all been separated for us. So why Apple, why do you not give us the power to be able to do this with the uh, acoustic kits? Because there's rock drummers, there's pop drummers and metal drummers that want to have this ability. We want, don't want to have to do the workaround that I'm about to show you. But yes, there is a workaround. Let me explain. So let's bring in our acoustic kits here. I'm gonna just start off by grabbing a SoCal and dragging this into the kit. So again, when I hit, all these kit pieces are all in the one track. So how can we do this? Well, let's play something in here. Um, we'll, we'll set a, a four bar little loop there and we'll hit record. And I'll just play like, I don't know, I'm just going to play a whole bunch of notes. Yeah. So we get a whole look at uh, all the pieces on the kit. Let's hit record. Sweet. So there's just all the pieces there. So when we play it back, it's all in that one track. Well, there is a way around this. So let's click on this track here and you'll see you get these options. Uh, sorry, we'll click on <laughs> the region here and you get these options to convert. So you can separate this into individual tracks by the note and pitch. So let's do that now. Bang. All right, so here's all our tracks. Awesome stuff. Hit play. Hang on, something's weird here. So if I bring down the volume of one of these, it all comes down. Well, that's not what I want. Let's bring up the uh, mixer. Hmm. It's all still in one track. All right, there is a way to fix this. It is a little bit of a, an effort, but trust me, you're gonna want to do this. So deselect everything. What we're going to do now is I'm going to select each of these tracks and make a duplicate. So I'm going to do it one by one. Watch with this. Select, duplicate, and then drag down this track. Then we're going to go to the next one. Duplicate. As I said, it's a little bit of a, a thing you have to do and drag to next track. Select the next one. Duplicate and drag to the next track. Do this again. So you keep doing this all the way down. Duplicate. Drag to the next track, duplicate. I'm just going to use my fingers here so it'd be a bit faster. We'll duplicate this one, drag down. So we're just going track by track, drag down, duplicate, track down, drag down again. We're nearly at the end here, so we've got three more to go. Duplicate, drag down, duplicate, drag down duplicate and uh, drag down. So now we've got all these tracks that are missing stuff. 
We've got to get rid of them. We've got to get everything now that's missing, that has no, uh, no MIDI file in there at all. And how do we do that all at once? We select up here and we can go through and select all of these one at a time, get them all in so they're all selected together. Cool, cool. Let's get them all in here. One, two, three, four. And we want to make sure this last one is not selected. So there we go. We've got all these empty tracks selected now. Uncheck this, click up here, and delete all of these. Now they're all gone. Okay, so now if I hit play, what happens? Oh, look at that. In our mixer, all our drums are now separate. How good is that? Awesome stuff. But what we want to do now is get rid of the mixer. And now here we can come in and we can either choose a summing stack or a folder stack. So you click the top one, the very top one, but make sure everything is selected first. So we're going to select all these tracks, make sure they're all selected. Good, everything's selected. Now we click the top track and we create a summing track. And now you'll see, let's unselect everything we have the ability to wrap all these up into a summing stack. So now when we open our mixer, all the drums are selected here in our summing stack. We can rename all of these two, our kick, snare, go in and rename them all. So let's uh, play this. So we've got total control over all these drums, plus the main track here in the summing stack turns everything down. Wicked. Pretty good stuff, yeah? So you can now go in and individually change parts of the kit if you want. So if I want uh, uh, this to be something else, we can go in and change this to a heavy kit. Just drag this over. So this particular one is from the heavy kit. Then we could grab the sunset kit for this particular one. And we can start mixing and matching all of these pieces. And it's all neat, ready to go. Lovely stuff. Let me show you one more thing. I'm going to delete, I'm going to just mute this summing stack here. Let's create a brand new track. And you can do this too from the drummer. Let me show you again. It's the same kind of way. So let's uh, introduce a drummer track. And we'll add some complexity, add some fills in there. And we'll close that out now. And now, so let's listen to our drummer track. We'll just shorten this a little bit. Hang on a minute. We don't want that. We want, we want our uh, rock drummer in here. So let's go and do that. We'll bring our SoCal drummer in here. And again, notice how it hasn't done that. It hasn't given us the ability to spread these tracks. So we have to go through the process again. But check this out. We can now, in uh, Logic Pro, click on this automatic drummer that's uh, given us a beat. We can go over to convert and we can do the same thing. Convert by note pitch. And look at that. It's split up every note, every part of the kit that's been played in there into these tracks. Wicked. So now we just have to go through the same process once again to sort all these out. We'll get rid of this browser here, unselect everything, and let's uh, do the same thing here. So we just have to go in and duplicate. Drop down, duplicate, drop down, duplicate, uh, maybe. <laughs> Let's click on that duplicate and drop down. Lucky there's not as many tracks here. Duplicate, drop down, duplicate, and drop down. And the last one, and drop down. Okay, so let's select all the things that aren't used here. So we want this one, this one, this one. And we have to delete these because we no longer need them. Make sure this last track is unselected as well. And then click over here. And we can either just delete all these or we could have just done delete all unused tracks and all of those tracks would have gone without us selecting. I just thought I would show you that also. So once we delete, all these kits now have now been spread out. If we are... Uh, 
go to our mixer and hit play. So our auto drummer has done its thing, yeah? And we can go in here and change all the parts up if we want, bring in different drum pieces now like we did before. Say we want the Liverpool to be on this one. And let's instead of uh, making a summing group here, let's do a summing folder. So there's not much difference between them. It's just you can uh, you can take things out of the folder. We'll cover folders at another stage. Video is getting a bit long as it is here. So once again, we'll select all of these. Boom, boom, boom. And now we click on the top one and create a folder stack. And there's our folder stack ready to go. Hit play. Everything's spread out. So we've got all those parts there spread out, ready to go. We can go into our mixer here and you can see everything's spread out. We can pull them all back in. Here's our original drum kit. So there you go. There's the workaround to get <laughs> our acoustic kits to actually be spread out and be able to use them like MIDI out. So I know it's a workaround. Let's hope Apple change it in the future. But if you are making rock drums and you want to use the SoCal, the heavy kit, all the acoustic kits, now you can do that, separate it. It's fairly easy. Plus, you could save a template, really, if you want it as well. Cool stuff. I hope this has helped you out. I'm out of here for the day. Remember, do the things that make you happy. Mistakes make you better. And we'll all rise together. And I'll see you on the next one.